Hi, my name is Amanda and today I want to talk about calcium. So what do you think about when you hear the word calcium? Strong bones and teeth maybe? But what exactly is the role of calcium in our bodies? First off, calcium is a macro mineral, meaning we need it in large amounts. It's actually the most abundant mineral in our entire body. Calcium is also essential in our diet because we cannot produce it by ourselves, so we have to either consume it from food or through supplementation. Calcium plays a huge role in nerve impulses, which essentially is how the brain communicates with the rest of the body. It's also really important for blood circulation, hormone secretion. Lastly, calcium is crucial for skeletal health as our bones and our teeth are primarily made up of this mineral. Adults under the age of 50 need 1,000 milligrams of calcium a day. This increases to 1,200 milligrams for females over the age of 50. So where exactly can we find calcium? Good sources of calcium can be found in milk and milk products such as yogurt and cheese, fortified plant beverages, green vegetables such as kale, broccoli, bok choy and spinach, along with fish eaten with the bones. So things like canned salmon, canned sardines or fried anchovies. And we can also find them in legumes such as white beans. So what does 1,000 milligrams of calcium look like? That would be three and a half cups of either cow's milk or a fortified non-dairy alternative. Or two and a half cans of sardines, again, eaten with the bone. Or 11 cups of raw kale, like in a salad. Alternatively, you could also do 13 cups of cooked broccoli. For most of us, eating 13 cups of cooked broccoli will probably leave us feeling a little bloated as well as gassy, right? So the key here is variety. So for example, instead of just eating 13 cups of cooked broccoli, for breakfast you could have a glass of milk, and then at lunch you could have a can of sardines with some crackers, at dinner time you could have some two cups of cooked broccoli, and then as a snack you could have a baby bell. So for those following a plant-based diet, how does 1,000 milligrams of calcium look like? Well, at lunchtime, you could have two and a half cups of raw kale salad with a sprinkle of sesame seeds. At dinner, you could have one and a half cups of cooked white bean chili, and then a side of three cups of steamed broccoli. And then as an afternoon snack, you could have one cup of dried mulberries and one ounce of Brazil nuts. Another option is supplementation if you need to fill any gaps. Calcium supplements comes in two forms, calcium carbonate and calcium citrate. Carbonate should be taken with food to aid in absorption, whereas citrate can be eaten on its own. Now when it comes to calcium supplements, it's best to take them at 500 milligram increments because your body can only absorb that at any given time. So for example, you could take one calcium supplement in the morning and then one in the afternoon. Another pro tip is to find calcium supplements that have vitamin D added to it to aid in absorption. Now that you know the role of calcium in our body and different food sources, comment below what you are gonna start adding into your diet to help you achieve the recommended amounts of calcium. And until next time, relish every bite.